Hello, welcome to Tundra Missionary. My name is Zach, and I am here for yet another album review. And today we are continuing with uh, Pink Floyd, and I am reviewing Metal. This is an awesome album, very epic. Um, there are six tracks on this album. It is 47 minutes long, and it was made in 1971. The genre is progressive rock. Uh, some interesting facts I found out. Of course, I always like to find facts about the album cover. And this cover is actually a close-up shot of an ear underwater, which is pretty interesting. Um, Storm Thorgerson, the uh, art designer, actually uh, ended up disliking the cover. He was in a yeah, I'm quoting all of this. He said, um, I think Metal is a much better album than its cover. So, I believe it was what the band wanted as the album cover, though. So, I don't know. Um, also, during this period when they were recording the album, uh, the band was like running out of material. Because uh, in Adam Hart and Mother, they were just scraping from the barrel, according to what David Gilmore said. So, by this point, they were out of material. So, he decided to do a little exercise work all of the band members would uh, do solo recordings and then they would assemble together and try to come up with something based on all their uh, recordings and combining them. But they were very unproductive and no song was made for several weeks of uh, recording sessions. In fact, um, the title was, uh, was almost uh, called Return of the Son of Nothings, which uh, represented their um, unproductive recording sessions, which is kind of interesting. Um, so now that we got a little bit of background information out of the way, let's go through the tracks. The first track is the instrumental, One of These Days. This is a very awesome, upbeat instrumental, really gets the album going. It's a really great introduction, has an awesome, awesome bass lines, awesome guitar work. Great song, great song, I love it. It's very, it's very cool, one of my favorite instrumentals from them. Uh, song number two, A Pillow of Winds. Um, a very calm, quiet, um, Pink Floyd love song. It almost reminds me of the song If of Adam, Hall Adam Hartmother, their album before this. I must apologize, but I will be um, comparing those two albums, Adam Hartmother and a Metal, a lot in this, uh, in this uh, review, considering that I just recorded Adam Hartmother previously, and this album was made right after it. So. I find that I, I like I like comparing stuff like that sometimes. It's kind of interesting. Uh, the third song, "Fearless." This is a, this is another uh, really good um, quieter song. Well, actually, it's not it's not as quiet. It's a little more upbeat than the previous one. They, uh, there's also a choir in the song at the end, which sounds really good. And I do love the guitar work in this one too. So definitely check out that one. I believe it might have been a single too. Uh, the fourth song, "San Tropez." This song is interesting. It ha it's it almost sounds like it's a little bit jazz or pop influenced Pink Floyd song. I actually kind of like it. I didn't like it the first listen, but it's kind of grown on me. The fifth song, Seamus. This is uh, when Pink Floyd tries to go for like a bluesy sound. And uh, this is disliked by many Pink Floyd fans. A lot of people like to say this is the worst Pink Floyd song of all time. Um, I personally don't know about that. I mean, I do kind of agree that the vocals are kind of bad in this song, and it's not my favorite, but I don't, I don't think it's that bad. I think, I think it's still an alright song. And then, of course, the sixth song that takes up the other half of the album alone is the 23 and a half minute Epic Echoes. And I'm actually looked this up, and um, I used a time calculator, and the first five songs together are actually seconds shorter than Echoes. So, it is truly a big part of the album. Many people will buy this album solely for this song. So, let's get into it. Um, it's not really divided into sections like um, Adam Hartmother Suite off the Adam Hartmother album, but I, I, I still can go through the uh, sections because I remember pretty well. Um, well it's, the, the first part of the song starts off with a loud ping, which sounds really cool. I think they made that sound through... Uh, Richard Wright's piano going through some kind of complex stereo or something like that. But it sounds really cool. And then it kind of builds up, and then we get through a good uh, verse and chorus, which the verse and chorus are epic in this song. I really do love the guitar work in there. And then we get a long, 
long rush upbeat guitar all the way up to like the six and a half minute mark or so and then we start and then the song kind of changes to more of a funky groove it kind of reminds me of that one part of Adam Hart Mother Sweet called Funky Down which by the way Adam Hart Mother Sweet and the Echoes are two songs that have a lot in common like they sound completely different from each other but when I mean like common they, they um, kind of have the same song structure the major difference is that Echoes has vocals in it. but uh, I'm getting a little off track and then the next part of the song is some of the most creepy work I've ever seen Pink Floyd do. It sounds, it sounds very creepy. And you hear it, to me, it sounds like you're in a deep, dark cavern, cavern, and you hear like winds blowing everywhere, and you hear like screams coming out here and there. Although those are sounds of like the guitar, but it sounds, it sounds really creepy and chill, and it's very chilling. It gives me goosebumps sometimes listening to it, but I do really like that part. And then uh, after that, um, it kind of builds up again and then gets back into a final verse and chorus again. And then the song just kind of ends off there. Um, well, no, no, actually, it doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't end off there. It, it kind of fades out into more like wind sounds. It almost sounds like the wind screaming and it kind of fades out. It sounds really cool. This is a really, really epic song. I do really enjoy Echoes a lot. Could very possibly be my, I don't want to say my favorite Pink Floyd song, but it definitely is up there with the top, so I will say that. So yeah, I mean, overall, Metal is an awesome album. I do highly recommend you listen to it if you haven't yet. Of course, if you're the Pink Floyd. But, uh, yes, um, I do like this album, so I had a couple other points, but I can't think of them right now, so I think I'll end it off here. So, thank you guys all for watching. You guys are so awesome. Take care, and I'll see you next time.